Hello, Julio. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert over at Zucker Marketing. Thanks for talking with Eric, giving him the time of day. And uh, he sent me over your website for analysis. And uh, here is that analysis. I won't waste another minute of your time. Uh, uh, your website is beautiful. It really is. And beautiful is the thing that is useful when you get somebody to it. This needs to be a tool for your business that brings you more customers. If it's not bringing you more customers, it has no value. It's not a question of, of uh, novelty anymore to have a website. It is a necessity. And that necessity can make you a lot more money if it's used well. Now, I'm gonna show you something here. I found a lot of things out about your website, actually, using a tool I'll show you later. Here is a, a list of New Orleans roofers. Now, at the top here is what we call the map pack. That would be a great place to be because that's, you know, at the top, people are going to click here first. Somebody with a, a, a Dunkin' Donut is not going to scroll down far enough to uh, find, you know, anything much below here. If he goes down to the related searches, you're, you're doing good. So these folks went to Google and they filled out a Google business profile. Have you done that? If you haven't, it's easy to do. You can do it yourself. You don't need us. Just go to Google, fill out a business profile. Uh, it's going to ask you what year you started your business, what your daily hours are. There's some tick boxes like on-site services, online estimates. Those are things that you should just tick if they're, if they're relevant to your site. And every place there is a blank, make sure you fill it out. Don't abbreviate. Don't, you know, like uh, this folks uh, say, Oh, uh, we're open till seven today. These ones say, oh, we close at six. These folks typed in 24 hours every single day of the week because this is supposed to be relevant to me if I uh, um, search on a Sunday or if I search on, you know, a Tuesday. It's going to tell me what your hours are for that very day. These folks are lazy, but you don't have to be that lazy. That's why these ones are above them because the business, uh, um, the algorithm, that Google uses to indicate where a business ends up on a, on a search result is a known quantity. We know what that algorithm is, and uh, it's important to satisfy that algorithm in order to get to the top of these things. It's not shady at all to know what the algorithm wants and to give it to them. Now, underneath the business, the, the map pack, is uh, uh, what we call the organic search results. And these are ones that are entirely uh, decided by the Google algorithm. It has nothing to do with somebody paying for an ad, nothing to do with, with having the Google business profile filled out. At the very least, here would be good. Here would be better, but this would be a good place to be. That's not you, that's Shiflet roofing. And if I scroll down, I am not seeing you. I am not seeing you, and that's a shame because you have a good website. I'm sure you do great work. I can see it in the photos. Here's what I, the first thing I'm going to show you. I'm going to take your website, and I'm going to cut and paste it into this word counter. There's your website. That's just words, 589. Here is Shiflet. They were at the top of the, of the uh, web search results. There's their word counter, and type that into theirs. They have 1,211 words. Now, the Google algorithm doesn't know everything about everything, but it does know that more is better. And when it comes to words, words are not equal. The Google algorithm also knows what words are supposed to go in your industry because it knows what other sites come up when people search for something. And so, Keywords and key phrases are what is important to be on your website. Google wants a minimum of 1,500, so even your competitor doesn't meet that uh, uh, necessity, but you need another 1,000 words to, to let Google know that you are a business that is serious about using its service to, to show people your stuff. Google has customers just like you do, and they want those search customers to get the most relevant results they can. So they develop this, this algorithm 
which, you know, like it or not, is sort of the standard. So uh, you have to satisfy that algorithm. Um, here is a, a tool that I use called Ahrefs. Now, this is the strength of your website out of 100. You have zero. You uh, Backlinks, you have two. Keywords, you have four. And the traffic you've had this month from any Google search is zero. Now, I'm going to show you Shiflet. Watch how these numbers change. They go from zero to 10. The backlinks go from two to 1,100. The keywords go to 239 from four. I'm going to show you what the keywords are. The ones that I was telling you are not random. These are the words that people actually type into a Google search in order to find a, uh, a, a roofer in your area. Roofers, New Orleans. New Orleans roofer. New Orleans roofers. You see, it's just a plural and a singular. Roofing companies, roofing contractors, roof repair. All of these things are going to appear in a Google search. Now, you can go and you can uh, just sort of think to yourself, how many different words are there in a Google search about me? Should I put in the word gutters? Should I put in the word tiles? Should I put in the word membrane roof? You know, whatever those various words are that are in your industry, the more of those that you have and in the particular order that they are listed is going to be better for your website. It, and that because more people are going to have it show up in, in the results. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, because it is also important, are the backlinks. This is this number here. Shiflet has 1,100, um, and you have two. Now, the backlinks are other sites that refer to your site. Google thinks that more is better for one and two, that the more somebody is talked about, that must make them better. So, like, if more people are talking about you, in other words, if there are more pages that refer back to your page, like if there is a link, there's a link on yellowpages.com to Shiflet. That's why they're listed here. Yellow Pages, they have a link. These sites are, are uh, listed in rank. A 90 is better than an 85. You want to be on all the ranked sites that are above 30. Now, there's a lot of sites. They don't have to be these sites. This is Yellow Pages. It could be Super Pages. It could be Angie's List. I don't see Angie's List here, so that would be a good one to be on. Expertise.com I don't see here. That would be a good one to be on. Owens Corning, the folks who make the uh, materials that you use. Uh, um, I don't see, uh, there's a bunch of others that you could be on, but uh, uh, they are ranked highly. That's going to increase your backlink profile, and that is going to increase the bottom line, which is this. This is a zero, meaning nobody clicked on your site. This is a 1,200 click in the last month. This means these folks are going to have a lot more odds of getting somebody to, to ask for an estimate, to get an online estimate, to inquire about your services. 1,200 people is a much better number than zero, obviously. Now, all of these things that I've told you about are stuff you can do yourself. It's not hard to find out what sites your competitors are on. You can just do a, a search for that on Google also. Uh, uh, it's not hard to find out what the organic keywords are. You can practically think of them yourself, or you can go to uh, Google and click there. It'll show you a whole bunch of uh, predictive uh, searches that have been done in the past. Sheet Metal New Orleans, uh, Roofers Metairie, uh Metal Roofs New Orleans. You can see what I'm talking about. You just sort of like change the the, the search parameters a little bit and it will come up with a whole other predictive group. So you can do that yourself, but I'm going to tell you it is time consuming and that's where I think that Eric might be able to be handy for you because I am sure that you would like to spend more of your time doing siding and roofing than, than mucking about in the, in the guts of your website. And so uh, if any of this sounds interesting to you to make your website work for you more, please give Eric a call and I uh, hope I've been helpful to you and have a great day.